Why does our society keep making the wrong people famous? Why? These people are not gods. They are regular people like the rest of us who make bad, bad choices and do, can do very bad things just like anyone else. Why do y'all idolize these people so much and then sit here and try to tell us, oh, well, Jake Paul wouldn't do that. Marilyn Manson wouldn't do that. You don't know him. You've never even, most of us have never even been in the same room as Jake Paul or Marilyn Manson or Dobby Vanity or any of the rest of these celebrity or YouTubers, people on Twitch, TikTok. Y'all have never been around these people. And even if you have been around them people, it don't mean you had the same experience as the survivors have had. Stop idolizing these people. They are not gods. And even if they were gods, it still don't mean that they're perfect. It don't mean that they don't do bad things. Because I'm sure they do. We all have had a bad past, probably. You know, give or take. Some worse, more worse than others. But society has got to understand. People like Jake Paul can do bad things. It is possible. Stop getting on the internet and saying stuff like, Oh, he wouldn't do that. Jake Paul wouldn't do that. Marilyn Manson wouldn't do that. Stop. You don't know what they would do because you ain't in their head. You do not have access to be inside of their head. You ain't in my head right now. You don't know what the hell I'm thinking. You have no idea. And even if you were Jake Paul's brother, mama, cousin, you still don't know what he's thinking or what he's capable of. Look at how many bad things have happened. You know, of course, that goes with also saying if he did do it. We don't know if he did or didn't because we weren't there and we're not in his or her head. Same thing with Marilyn Manson. But I'll tell you this, when one person says something, you know, it's one thing. But when several people start saying it and have similar stories when they don't know each other and then the text starts showing up and things like that. We have to take into consideration that it may be true. It may not. I don't know. But I'm so sick of seeing people say she's lying. She's out for clout. Justine hasn't gotten any clout from this. Um, if anything, she's gotten nothing but hate and threats from coming out and saying anything about Jake. Just like with the Marilyn Manson um, allegations. These women are being threatened daily. You know, it's very disturbing. You know, it is not right to silence anyone. You know, when Jake Paul said he wanted to be a boxer, people didn't silence him. People started supporting him and saying, hey, I think you can do it. I think, yeah, people cut jokes, you know, and talk junk, but he went through with it. So why is it when Justine, you know, says something, people try to silence her? When Marilyn Manson's allegations come out, people try to silence them, you know, the women. When the Davi Vanity case started up years ago, people silenced Jesse, Damien. Um, people tried to silence all of Dobby's victims, alleged victims. I have to say alleged because I don't want to be sued. You know, even with the Anision case with Billy and Sarah, you know, people in the beginning didn't want to listen to Shiloh. His fans went after her. And it's the same thing with Jake Paul fans, stands. Marilyn Manson stands, Bill Cosby fans and stands, you know, Harvey Weinstein. Nobody wanted to believe. Everybody wanted to silence the survivors. I just think that people need to stop trying to silence others and listen. And people like Kingstar who come out and say, well, I don't believe it. Do you know how much more damage, if she is telling the truth, you're doing so much more damage because the people who follow you, the people who are stands to you, Kim, now they're going to go to her, I don't believe you. I don't believe this. Based on what you said, because you have a platform and you have fans who listen to everything you say. They don't go by the evidence, they just go by what you say. And it's the same thing with Jake Paul fans, Marilyn Manson, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, and all the rest. The fans, the stands, excuse me, they don't listen. They don't care about the story or the allegations. They don't care about the survivors, victims. All they care about is what the celebrity said. 
you know, when you have a platform, you need to be careful. And I'm not trying to say this to start a war with Keem. I'm just saying Keem has a platform. And I think that he needs to be very careful with how he uses it. And that goes for the rest, too. When you have a platform, you need to be very careful with how you use it. And also, why is nobody talking about the Jake Paul situation? I seen one person cover it, and that was Rip Zilla. He was the only person who covered this topic so far. I think H3 may have spoken about it. I'm not sure. But I know Rip Zilla did. But everybody's talking about this boxing match. Who gives a crap? I'm not... If this person is out here hurting people, that could be your daughter, that could be your sister, your cousin, your brother. You, But nobody cares until it's their self or someone they love. Because they love celebrities. They love to idolize these celebrities. That's all, they, that's all that matters to them. You don't know these celebrities. Stop idolizing these people. They are everyday humans who could be P-R-E-D-A-T-O-R-S just like anyone else. Anyways, just wanted to say, and I'm not trying to start a war. I'm just saying, we don't know because we weren't there if it did or did not happen. So stop trying to silence people. And if Jake wants to come out and speak his hat, let him come out. Hey, we're not going to silence him either. Come out and say what you got to say.